In today's video, I'm going to be showing cutting this boulder. As you can see, it weighs a little over 5,500 pounds or 2,200 kilograms. The high 650 crane on my little GMC 7000 dump truck could barely lift it off the ground. Here I am just rolling it over with the backhoe to get it ready to put on the saw table. Now I'm done with that, I'll get on to the cutting. Got the saw all set up here. Got this granite boulder on there. I'm gonna slice it off right there, the top off of it. And then I'm gonna slice down at the bottom, horizontal cut as well. Um, gonna make it at roughly coffee shape or coffee table uh, height once done. And this will end up being an outdoor coffee table. Okay, time to shake hands with danger. Shake hands with danger. Be the guy you ought to know. I used to laugh and say, Take you in and show the uh, skateboard wheel I use just to keep the vibration down on the uh, wire. See it right there. I did that because I uh, upped the feed rate. Right now I'm going an inch and a half a minute. And I noticed as I increased the feed rate, I got more vibration in the wire. So that little wheel there just keeps uh, the bounce down so it doesn't hit that pipe as it goes to the other two guide wheels. I don't know how long the bearing will last in there, but we'll uh, see. You can see we're running at uh, 25.3 meters per second, pulling five, or sorry, roughly six and a half amps. On the spindle, 10 amps is full load. Uh, you can see your tension in the wires, 241 kilograms. And uh, running at 1.5 inches per minute. Might try to go to 1.75 and see what uh, See if we can push the, really push the speed through this stone. So just overriding that here. You should see the spindle load go up. See your spindle loads up to uh, over eight amps now. That's about as most as I'll push this. Right now I'm just paused, doing a uh, horizontal cut. Just paused it to put in some wedges down here at the bottom. So it's the first time I've done one like this, cutting uh, so close to the bottom, but uh, if everything works, uh, I'll be pretty happy with this. 
because as you can see you can do a nice level top and bottom cut without having to reposition the stone at all placed steel wedge in there got about uh, 20 more inches to go a bit more than that and be done cutting at uh, 1.5 inches per minute right now so let's see what this looks like fresh off the saw So I realized I had no video of actually the uh, final piece of the stone after it came off the saw. There it is there. Fortunately it's covered in ice. I tried to scrape it off but it's just this time of year. So. That'll be uh, like an outdoor coffee table. It's 18 inches thick and about four inches, or sorry, four feet across there in the middle. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, Craig's got a new video. So glad I subscribed.